can't sit with us! Friendship is actually such a foundation of mental and physical well-being. It adds years to your life. It helps protect against depression and anxiety. And yet, a lot of us have friendships that we've kind of fallen into and are fairly dysfunctional and aren't good for us. And we spend so much attention on dating and romantic relationships and family relationships in the popular media that we don't talk enough about how friendships can make or break our entire well-being. I think a lot of times it's because you're talking about the need for a match between two people and so there are different expectations involved and unlike a monogamous romantic relationship we might prioritize each other differently because you could have 30 friends and somebody else you know has you as their best friend but for you that person is only number seven or number eight it's a common dilemma that there's a little bit of a mismatch of expectations of what the friendship means um, and it's also harder to end bad friendships because unlike a romantic relationship where it's sort of clear when you break up with a friendship you might be tempted to keep hoarding those relationships and not letting go of the ones you say oh well I'll just you know not say anything even though I don't want to be friends anymore and so that adds up and gets really really toxic for our mental health. Friendships are toxic generally when one person is for a long period of time just being brought down by it. They don't feel like their best self within it, they feel taken advantage of or manipulated, they feel like they're not really understood and appreciated for who they are. There might be an unhealthy level of competition. Um, there might be a lack of reciprocity where one person is giving so much more than the other person. Often too what we see is when one person gets into habits that are bringing the other person down. So you feel like you are developing um, ways of being that aren't good for you and you're doing it because it's sort of contagious. We see social contagion. Your friend is doing these bad quote unquote things and so it's more tempting for you to do them as well. Um, when you don't look forward to spending time with a person and it always, always feels like a chore or you're not liking who you are with that person over a long period of time, it's not just a phase, it's really a sign that something's off within the relationship. The first tip would be to speak with respect, to behave with respect, to treat your friend in a way that you're going to be proud of. Um, the second would be to get clarity about exactly what you want to do because you don't want to do something rash that you're going to end up regretting. Um, the third would be to understand your feelings and to own your feelings and to let yourself understand that this is tough. So let yourself feel. Number four, you know, build up your self-care in other ways. So other friends that are good for you, family members, passions, hobbies, getting good sleep, taking care of yourself with exercise and sunlight outside. And then number five, learn something from it. Be able to go and go forward in your life having taken some insight from this relationship. You don't need to regret that it happened. If you can be a stronger person for it and you can understand more about yourself now that it's been done. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.